Welcome back everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and in this tutorial of Python programming language, we will be learning about conditionals. Okay, conditionals are basically statements that you put out. You ask for some condition to be happening and if that thing really happens, then you do something uh, after that. Okay, so you'll be like, okay, if this thing happens, then you do this. If this happens, then you do that. Okay, so yeah, I'll just show you exactly how that works in Python. How can you write uh, some conditional statements? Okay, there are there are three things to understand over here. You have the if statement, the else statement, and the elif statement that we'll be covering over here. Okay, first of all is the if statement. So I'll just give you the syntax of how this works. I have if, then I have some condition. And if that condition is true, then I'll have the colon sign over here. That is really important to uh, remember because if you miss that, then there'll be some errors and your program will not run. Uh, basically here I can just say whatever I want to do. I can do some mathematical operation. I can say print, uh, hi, okay, something of that sort. Now this condition can be, there are multiple conditions that you can do. Okay, so I can have multiple things going in. I can check for something to be true. I can check if something is there or it's not available or something. Um, we can talk about that in uh, future tutorials, but I'll just give you a brief overview of what I mean by that. Okay, so let's just say I have assigned x to be three. Okay, pretty simple, right? Basically what this means is that three is uh, the value that is assigned to the letter x. Okay, now here if I'll go ahead and check if x is equal to three, Okay, again, I'm using the double sign. That means I'm comparing the thing on the left to the thing on the right. Okay, now uh, if I'm just seeing that this, if this is true, okay, if this is true, then this thing will run. Okay, print high will run, which as you might know, this will just uh, output high over here. If I run this, I end up getting high. Okay, pretty simple. You can uh, do a bunch of other stuff over here, right? Uh, there can be multiple conditions that you can use. We'll look upon uh, what conditions those are in the future tutorials. Uh, another thing that you can do is that you can use something called as an else statement. Okay, I'll show you what the else statement does. So let's just say you have the else thing that if this is not true, okay, I'll just change the value to uh, 56, let's just say. Okay, and now I'll just use else. So with else, you don't really need a condition. Okay, basically what else says is that if nothing works, then do this. Okay, if none of the conditions are true, then do this basically. So uh, again, I'll have the colon sign over there and over here I can just write print nothing. Okay, whatever you want to do. You can do a bunch of things over here, but I'm just showing you for a brief example. And as you can see, we get nothing because again, X is not equal to three, but X is equal to 56. So this was false. Okay, and this statement will only run if this will not run okay this uh, if block will not run right and uh, now you can do another thing that is pretty cool in python and that is called as an elif operator okay elif is something that you can check it's like another condition operator another if statement okay but that only executes when the first if statement uh, is not able to run because it is false because the condition in the if statement is false okay so yeah elif i have over here i can just say x equal to equal to 56 and then it just says i can do print yay and i run this and i end up getting yay again if this is true if the elif condition is true then the else condition will not happen okay that is just how it works and you can have multiple elif 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 conditions over here Okay, you can uh, put as many conditions as possible um, for good Python practices, for good Python code, I would really suggest that you use only one if statement and then you use as many elif statements that you want to use. And then at the end, you use only one else statement because else is just the last resort. Okay, that is just the last thing that you can do if not, none of those conditions are true. Okay, so yeah, this is just something pretty cool I wanted to show you guys in Python. Uh, pretty simple. It's just conditions. If this happens, then do that. Um, let me know if you are facing any difficulties. Again, this is the code dump platform that I'm using. If you are not familiar with it, I have a video explaining how this works. I link it up in the description or somewhere over here. Uh, do check it out. This is just a great platform for you to learn uh, whatever language you want to Python, JavaScript, whatever. Um, and you can do it on the browser, right? And it is it has uh, server side rendering. So your uh, laptop will not have to 
uh, you know compile all the code and do all of that stuff it's pretty simple to use uh, i hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below thank you so much for watching till the very end subscribe to the channel like this video and i will see you in the next one